Yeah, and welcome, welcome, welcome to a video on how to play Chris Stapleton's Broken Halos. Do you want to get better at strumming? There is a link in the description box below all about how to tighten up and get better at strumming. So check it out. And there's also a bunch of other stuff down there. If you like soloing, you know, blues, major pentatonic, minor pentatonic, there are video lesson series that are not on YouTube in the links below in the description box. Check that out. So the song's pretty basic, which is awesome. All you're going to need is a capo, and I've seen him play without a capo too. So if you want to play to the album, you need a capo. First fret, there is only a couple of chords. And what you're going to want to do is keep these down the whole time. So do a G chord. And then you take these two down. Do a C add nine chord. And then you're basically going to do an E minor chord, but keep in mind you're going to keep these fingers down. Okay, now those basically are the three most prominent chords in the whole song. There's a little bridge where it's a little bit different, but no big deal. Now, what you're gonna do, and I've seen him do this a couple of ways, but there's these little embellishments on these chords. And what I mean by that is, for instance, on the G chord, you can hammer on the A string second fret. So you'd go for an open A and hammer on, right? So it's, but when you add that with a chord, Okay, now I've seen the C done two ways. You can do the same thing on the C, or you can walk into it, okay? Both done, same, you know, they've, they've both been done live. <laughs> All right, and then for the E minor chord, just hammer on that same open A to the second fret, okay? So when you add that with the music, it's gonna sound like this. Okay, now that is honestly like 90% of the song right there and it just repeats that pattern. So let's examine that a little closer. So the progression is gonna go from G to C to G, E minor to G, and then when you do this last C, you're gonna go. See how I took that off right there? That was on the D string, second fret. And then back to a G. Okay, so let me do that one time through. E minor, G, and then that little walk down on the C, back to G. Okay, now the strumming. basically what it is in its most basic form okay so when you add the embellishments to it you get this Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through patterns of that, right? In the, ver in the very beginning, the intro, it's two times through that chord progression and then you tag on this little E minor part at the end. Okay, so let's go over what the intro is gonna sound like, all right? So here we go. That'd be one time. There goes number two. Here's where we add. 
add that E minor part right here. Okay, so it's gonna do that one time. And then it goes and it starts into the real song, right? Everything's kicked in and it's going. It's gonna do that G part. Four times now. And at the end of the fourth time, you're gonna do that E minor part we just did again. So that's gonna sound like this, check it out. Right, so just make sure you play this. Four times, and then you tag the E minor part on at the end, which is E minor, G, and then. Okay, now once you get there, that's gonna get you into a bridge, and this part only happens once. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna bar the third fret from the A string down, and you're basically gonna hammer on an A minor chord. Right, so it's a C minor chord. You do it again. Right, and that's the whole bridge. So let's go over that. So that's the A minor part. So you do a downstroke and then you hammer on. Now when you go into the G, you walk into it. And then. And then. So that part's. It's all happening on this D string, right? Okay, so let's do that slowly. Here we go. So that's All right, check out this in. and then back into now when you after you come out of the bridge and you go back into this part again it's exactly the same thing as the intro right which was two times through this progression with an E minor at the end Okay, and then for the end of the song, you go through that again twice. And then at the very end, you tag on the E minor part three times, okay? So it goes like this, check it out.
Wow. Always right at the end. Come on. All right. Let's do the end one one more time. Okay, so here it goes. Okay, so except for the mistake at the very end, which I'm going to keep because you, we're, we're keeping it real here, right? Let's just don't do that live. It'd be perfect all the way through and your singer's like feeling it and they're like totally in it and they're like, dude, right at the very end you choke. And it happens. It, I've seen it happen before. Just don't let it happen to you. <laughs> All right, so we got. But let's do the very end part again. Here we go. Okay, so at the very end, go, and then open A, so, and that's just a nice walk down to end it. It doesn't have to be exactly like that, but that's a typical kind of walk down. And then strum through those chords. Those strings just nice and slow. Be extra emotional and awesome. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. All right, and thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to be notified when the latest videos are released. Check the main channel page for other playlists like the popular Guitarist You Should Know, where I feature today's hottest touring and session guitar players. Support the cause by visiting brettpapa.com, where I take you from learning other people's songs and licks to creating your own. Catch you next time.